This is a review for an IP camera from MaryMobiles.com. Uh, this is product Mary M E R I 3726. Uh, current price listed at $89.99. Um, on the box, you can see this one looks to be a pan and tilt. Um, and the model number listed here is FS 613B M166. It's the F series. It looks to be tarnish color. Um, does not include a micro SD, but it looks like it could and comes with US power supply. Uh, over here it lists the uh, power is uh, 5 volt to milliamp. Uh, lists an IP address for starting out. Uh, DDNS password. And bottom, you know, the rest of the box pretty basic. Let's go ahead and open it up. And inside you will find a manual that does have uh, English directions shown there. Uh, also Chinese directions. You get a uh, software CD, uh, F series, uh, revision A4. And over here you have a face. Comes with a network cable, the uh, power adapter, and there's the connector to it, and again, 5 volt um, to milliamp. And we've also got the wireless antenna, mounting screws, and uh, these are probably additional brackets for the mounting and uh, the connecting it. Got a certification passed, that's always good. And the uh, mounting bracket, and then the camera itself. So there's the, uh, the camera. And as you can see, it's got tilt, pan and tilt. On the back, we've got a network connection. This is for the wireless antenna, which we can just put on here. There we go. Uh, power has an audio out uh, and an alarm system connection. On the bottom, you got a little mounting bracket there and a reset switch. Also the same uh, information about the camera. And again, we got a microphone up here. Looks like speaker on the side, so you can do two-way audio. So we're going to set that right there. And uh, here is Mary Mobile's website. Now, uh, MaryMobiles.com, again, uh, regular price $189.99. Deal of the day price uh, $89.99, so it's uh, on a good sale. Looks like you can get it in black and white. And it does come with a one-year warranty. And again, the model number, embedded Linux OS, compression format is G.726 slash G.711 one channel linear input, microphone input, and audio output. Compression in H.264, um, PAL or NTFS, 25 frames per second. VGA, 640 by 480. Uh, minimum illumination is 0.3 lux. Uh, pan and tilt function has 270 degree pan and 90 degree tilt, so that's a lot of uh, range of motion. Free domain, support up to 10 visitors at a time if you want to go public with your camera. Um, Wi-Fi compliant, VGN wireless. Uh, infrared night vision up to 15 meters, and it has a up to a 32 gigabyte SD card slot, uh, presumably for backing up the uh, the video. And that is what I've got right now. So we'll go ahead and give this a test and get it back on video. Thanks. This is uh, where the camera is located at in a room that's about 10 by 20, and the camera itself is located on the opposite side near the window, looking out. And this is uh, pan and tilt. I just wanted to show you the movement on this little guy. Um, so I'm going to use my phone and this is the 270 degree of rotation. And then it has 90 degrees of upward and down. So if you put this upside down, as I said earlier, it would uh, work very well. And speed is uh, pretty decent on it for the rotation. This is roughly the view that the camera will have, uh, the pan and tilt. And again, I'm using an HD, uh, a wide angle lens on my camcorder here so that it can see more. So this is what the video looks like with the camcorder in the dark. And as you can see, pretty much can't see anything. Now there are multiple ways to view the video. Uh, the easiest way you can use your browser. Um, so you put in the IP and information that you set um, and your login information. And then you can click on sign in. I'm using uh, Firefox here. So I click sign in. And this will take you to uh, the video, um, and I've got the resolution set at 640 by 480. This is the pan and tilt camera. 
And as you can see along the options here, you can change the resolution. It's got 160 by 120, 320 by 240, or 640 by 480. 50 hertz, 60 hertz outdoor. You can set the brightness, and you can change contrast, and you can set the frames per second. Now, because this is a pan and tilt, you get the cool option of being able to control the camera. So you hold a little button here, and it tilts. And then we can turn this one. It's a 270 degree rotation. And as you can see, it adjusts to the lighting change as it turns indoors here. But it also uh, tilts up 90 degrees. So this camera would be great if you uh, put it upside down, if you're you know, on the ceiling mount or something that way, then you can get full uh, viewing angle. And if you did mount it upside down, it does have options right here to uh, mirror the image. Or you can flip the image upside down so everything looks normal to you. And that is what this one looks like during the day. Here's what the video looks like through the camera, the pan and tilt at night. As you can see, there's a lot of reflection coming off the glass, uh, the infrared LEDs. Um, and you can kind of see them coming up here, right there as it adjusts the LEDs. But as you spin around, again, can't see outside because of the glass, but once you get into the room, it adjusts nicely and it's practically like it's daytime in there. And again, you can tilt it up. and come back around. Now another option for viewing the video is to use the included software that's on the CD. Uh, it's called Multi-Window. Um, it's okay software, it gets the job done, but it's not the most user-friendly of things to use. Um, I prefer a, a phone program or a tablet program, which I'll show you in a little bit. Um, so this is the, the three different cameras that I have and you can uh, see a full screen mode but it shows you all three uh, you should be able to control the pan and tilt functions from here so as you can see I can control left and right uh, it also goes up and down you can set presets um, and do different things that way so this software will work for you uh, for viewing the the cameras that you have a software that I found really great for Android, and as you know I do a lot of Android tablet reviews, uh, is this IP Cam Viewer. There's a light version and a pro. The light is free, but the pro gives you more options. Uh, it's $3.99 in the market, and uh, as you can see in the description, it gives uh, a lot of details um, and a lot of options and features. And I've got it installed on my phone here, <clears throat> and as you can see, I've got it set up with the three cameras all simultaneous. And if I want, I can click on one and go to just that one individual. Now this is the uh, internal fixed camera. This is uh, currently with the lights off, so it's running on infrared. You can take uh, pictures up here or uh, go back to the manage the three cameras. And then this is the pan and tilt one. And if you double click and go into it, you can actually go and control the uh, pan and tilt functions from the camera. And again, you can take snapshots or uh, different video feeds that way, adjust the brightness. Um, you can also turn on uh, the listening if you want to listen and turn on a microphone uh, if you want to talk through the camera. And then this is the outdoor camera. So it really is a great, great software. You can set up the same cameras multiple times if you need to set internal or external feeds. And now these cameras don't have zoom on them by default, but what you can do is by using the software, if you go into it, you can actually just pinch and zoom in the software and that would give you uh, zoom functions for the cameras which you otherwise wouldn't have. So for instance on here it's nice I can zoom in and see you know right there and in. So it's really great software and a great option if you're gonna have these cameras particularly if you have multiple cameras having this multi view mode uh, is really handy. So that is the review of the security camera. Um, as I said you can get all of these from marymobiles.com they also carry a lot of other products like tablets, uh, watches, pretty much everything. And I just want to show you one more thing on the, uh, the app for the phone here is you can uh, go in and you can manage the cameras and you can turn on, let's say I have up to six cameras. Now when I go to my multi-pane view, it'll show me all six cameras on the one screen. So again, the cameras are really great. Uh, the prices are right for them uh, at marymobiles.com. And I think they're, they're great buys and great to check out and see what you like. Uh, so head on over to Mary Mobiles and check them out. Thanks.
So this is the configuration portion of the video. And so what you need, uh, you've got your camera right now, I'm using the external one here. And you'll need to plug it into the network, to your network. Uh, I've got a network plug just on the back there. And you just plug that in, and also plug it into power. And then what you'll need from here is you'll need your box. And on the box, there is that label that we saw earlier. Um, and it gives you uh, admin for the username, password is none. Gives you an IP address, which is 192.168.1.126.81. Uh, uh, it also gives you the remote access information, which I blocked off on mine here uh, for security reasons. But that allows you to access it outside of the house. And we'll get to all that. So once you've got that information, uh, and you've got it plugged into your network, and your network's also on the 192.168.1.1 uh, kind of subnet, just go into a browser, type in 192.168.1.126 colon 81. You might have to also put um, HTTP colon in front of it. But if you hit enter, it brings you to the initial screen for the camera. And I'm using Chrome right now for the browser, so I'm going to click the server push mode for Firefox and Google browser. Click sign in. And as you can see, it's showing you know the video as it stands right now. I've got the resolution at 640 by 480. Uh, what you want to do is click the little button over here. It's the settings. This brings you into the options for the camera. Now this is where you get to actually configure the device. So it gives you the initial device ID, um, you know, the firmware version, IP camera. You can set the language here. Uh, you can see the different language options. And then the alias settings, this is where you can name it. Um, I'm going to call this one exterior fixed. And every time you uh, change a setting, you hit set, it takes about 30 seconds for it to, uh, to reset. So I'm going to set these, and then we're going to jump forward on those portions. Actually, that one did not require. Date and time, this is where you can set um, your date and time. I am on Eastern. So I'll click Eastern and click Set. Good. User settings. Now this is where you can set up your own uh, logins and passwords, and you can also give different access rights. So for now, we've got the admin account. I'm just going to set a password of password for the time being. Um, so that way, at least it has a password. And then if you wanted to give other people access, you could set a guest. We'll do a password of guest for that one. And you can select um, visitor, operator, or administrator. With administrator, they have full access. With operator, if it's like a pan and tilt, they can tilt it. Uh, with visitor, it's just viewing. They can just come and see the camera. That's it. So we're going to click set on that. And now it wants the new password. And as you can see, it's doing its 30 second reboot. So okay, it's back. Now comes the important part, basic network settings. This is where you can set up the IP address and information. You can use the obtain IP from DHCP server if you prefer, or you can just manually set it so that way you know what the IP address is. So here you can change that information, change your, you know, all the information. You can also change the HTT port. Now if you have multiple cameras, you have to set different HTTP ports uh, so that they can all work externally. So you can increment it, you can, you know, pick random port numbers, but you do need to change that if you have multiple cameras so that they can all be accessed externally. So once you do that, you hit set, and it will do, again, a 30-second uh, reset. Then you can go into the wireless settings. You can hit scan, but I've not found the scan to do, you know, it didn't pull up any list. So it's better to just use wireless LAN, type in your uh, network name, you know, and the network type is most likely infrastructure. And then if you have encryption on it, set your encryption, set your password, and then click set. And that will enable the wireless. And again, it will do a 30 second reboot. Um, if you have ADSL, you can do settings here, universal plug and play. Um, usually, it depends on how network savvy you are, but if you want to access this outside of your home network, Go ahead and click the checkbox for using universal plug and play to map the port. Um, DDNS service settings. Now this is an important area. This is where you actually can set up the access externally. Now I've blocked out my user um, name here and uh, that information, but it does give you a drop down list of options to select, um, but I couldn't get any of the other ones to work so I just left it with the standard IP cam. Uh, the DDNS user is your domain name, so you would use that name dot ipcam.hk and the port um, 808 and that way you could actually log in and the password is on the box as well that you use um, for this portion. You can also set up mail service settings so that it can email you when there's motion or different information that way. FTP settings um, so it can back up images automatically um, to an external FTP server for security. Alarm service settings this is where you can do motion detect armed or alarm input armed. Um, then there's a log and maintenance. And this is where you can reboot the device or uh, restore factory settings, upgrade the firmware if you can find a firmware upgrade or the user interface. Uh, once you're done with all of that, you now should have a working camera. You can access it by whatever IP address you've set and the port number. And then you can control it over here. And some cameras will have different controls. Some can pan and tilt. This one's just a fixed, but you can also adjust the, uh, the brightness of it and uh, the contrast. So that's the configuration portion.